Hey, this is John with Brockworks. I'm excited today to bring you another BIM tool for SketchUp. So with Estimator for SketchUp, we gave you the 5D element of BIM. That's an element of cost. 4D is an element of time. So what we now have is phases. So if you're like me, you've had to build scenes of how a project comes together, whether it's a house or a car or whatever you're modeling, and you want to convey the different steps in a project, all right, from start to finish. So we've had to use a combination of tags to control visibility and making all these scenes. And sometimes you can imagine it can get to be dozens of scenes, which can be a little bit of a pain. So let me introduce you to you phases. So what phases looks like, this is the uh, interface here or the, or the tool buttons. So we have a fader that's a timeline that you can drag along over time. And then we have the user interface where you're actually entering the data. So as you can see with this fader, I've already can just, as I'm dragging it along, I'm controlling the visibility of everything with just this simple fader. So we've got an empty lot, we've got excavation and foundation and footings and all that good sort of stuff. Slab, we're framing, we're getting her under roof. So you can see here that we're adding some exterior siding and trim and stone and we're putting the roof on. So coming about the first part of March, we're under roof on this project. Uh, as we're scrolling through, I'm adding stuff inside that you can't really see, but rough in plumbing and electrical and insulation and drywall and the cabinets are going in and then appliances are going in and trim, that sort of thing. So you're just building it over time according to your project schedule. Uh, we get outside and we're starting to see we've got a sub slab for flagstone. We're starting to build this outdoor kitchen and a trellis. Uh, again, it's just morphing together over time. We've got our final seating and mulch done, got our self fencing down building our outdoor kitchen, our final landscaping, and then moving the furniture in at the end, okay? So what it looks like in, in terms of, this, is, these are our phases that we create. So in this interface, you can create the various phases. You can assign objects to those phases, either additive or subtractive. So you could say, I want, if it's a demo job, you want to subtract a portion of it. Otherwise, you're adding these, uh, assigning an object to a phase, given how many days, the duration of the, of the uh, task at hand, we first thing we started out was the start date of the project. After that, your predecessors determine the start dates. For example, in our case here, excavation can't happen until we get a building permit, that sort of thing. Uh, footings can't happen until you do excavation. So one before the other, that's a predecessor. So if you're familiar with scheduling, that's how that works. So you can build your schedule out uh, along with your predecessors and then simply drag the fader over time to see the project, which is really cool. Uh, and so we'll break it down into a more simple example. Okay, so let's take a look at this example of a, uh, a simple house, for example, that we're going to demolish the walls that are red and we're going to add a new wall in this project. So in, in the way we typically do it is have different tags. So we have existing, we have demo, we have new walls. And I would create scenes. So we have that's the existing, then our demo, we're removing those walls, and then a new wall. Okay, and it will be done in scenes. Well, what happens with, phase, with phases is we can come into our user interface. Now you could come in and simply just say, add a phase, phase one, click okay, phase two, okay, phase three, okay. Or you can custom name them. When it defaults to separating them by a day apart, and that way when you're dragging the fader, it's, it's showing you the different phases. So you don't have to go through and put dates in, you don't have to put durations in, you can just simply create a, a series of phases that sort of automatically we've separated it by a day for you so that when you're dragging the fader, it's going to show the individual phases come together. So I'm going to go into the settings and I'm going to remove all those. Click OK. So I'm going to come in and say that let's do existing is the phase one. All right. And then I'm going to add a phase that is demo. OK. But I'm going to make the predecessor of the exist or demo phase to be existing. So one can't happen before the other. So watch if I change the start date to say the 26th. Now you see that's on the 27th for demo, okay? And I could put the duration of days. I can click through here the number of days I want. A simple one like that, just a one day job. And then I'm gonna add a new phase called new wall. And I'm gonna have the predecessor for new wall be after demo. All right, and I'm gonna give that a, a one day uh, duration as well. So now that we've done that, I wanna add objects to it. So for example, I did have these on layers or tags, which we won't need once we get uh, phases put together here. 
So I'm going to take the slab and the walls and the walls to be demoed, and I'm going to add those, hitting the plus button under existing. All right, so hit plus button, three objects were added. In the demo phase, I want to subtract that from the model. I want that to go away. So this is subtractive, I'm going to hit the minus button. And then finally for the new wall, I'm going to add that to the new wall phase. So now I've got all my phases set up, okay? And when I go to the user interface now, you can see here it's just as simple as that. I'm dragging the fader over time, second day goes away, now we're over a weekend, so uh, it's got a couple of days that it's missing there, and then our new wall is built. So to show you how that works with the weekends, which is non-work days, you could go into your settings and you can choose what your non-work days are, like weekends, if you wanna, you know, you can control that however you wish, and you can also add holidays, Christmas, New Year's, and that sort of thing. So that's under your settings, okay? And then uh, another thing to consider is, for me, I build houses and I it have a template for my schedules. So once you've built a schedule that works for you, you can come over here into your settings and export that schedule or that phase, a uh, series of phases, and then later import them into a similar project. You're starting a new job, it's similar to this other one, you can bring in a template. So it really is a big time saver. And then you would just adjust the dates from there, your start date. And you can update all your scenes, you can remove all your scenes. And that's the settings, very simple. So again, with the fader, we can just come in and we can drag it over time to see the project come together. Now what I would do is create a scene here. I'm gonna add a scene in here and call it phases. And that's the only scene we'll need. I can come in here and delete the rest of these. And I've got my one scene called phases. And that way, if you're doing other work and you have other geometry that you want to cut off and on, it won't affect your timeline. So there's my one scene, and there's my phases. So we hope you like this. You can check it out at estimatorforsketchup.com under extensions. There's a seven-day trial. Uh, give it a try. Let me know how you like it or dislike it or what features. We're, we've got a lot of features that I want to add to this, but we're just getting started with phases. So go have fun. Thank you for watching.